Next thing I'm going to do is install this uh, tack. This is a Sun Super Tack. They don't make these anymore. They went out of business. But I picked it up at one of these uh, car shows for $20. I couldn't believe it. But what happens is I only have just this is how it came. No wires. So we know that red is power. Black is negative. Green goes to the uh, coil and blue is for the for the light so what I did is I bought some paint for the same color as the car I painted the whole tack I also got crazy and painted this uh, bracket so now I'm going to first I'm going to splice solder in some wires uh, before I install it and then uh, then I'll mount it on the dashboard or on the steering column, tighten it, clamp it in, and then just solder in the rest of the wires. So the first thing we have to do is make sure there's a little switch here on the bottom. It says uh, 8, 6, and 4. We have to make sure this is on 8 because this is an 8 cylinder. Okay, so let me splice in the wires and we'll come back after I'm all done with that. Okay, now we're just going to solder these together, all these lines. It'll make a nice connection. Wait till they cool a little bit. I know we should be using a heat gun, but this is close enough as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it takes care of that. All right, we'll just wait till that is dry a little bit, and then we'll mount the tachometer on the steering column. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just mount the tack right to the steering column, and I have this clamp that I painted green. That's what I can do. Okay, once I have it in position, what I can do is I'm going to keep the down on the bottom, the other portion of the, the clamp, because this way, once I get it there, I can just cut it off, and it'll be out of sight. All right, so I took this cover, the plastic cover off. It fits right here, so I can hide all the wires. And now I'm just going to string it along and I'm gonna splice up this blue wire here I'm gonna uh, put it with this one here because this is the lights the yellow wire goes to ground which would be over here the green wire goes through the firewall and it's gonna hook to the positive side of the coil and the red wire is gonna go to power I'm gonna just splice it right in here okay so let me splice these wires in here 
and then I'll uh, then we'll come back. All right, now we have the, the tack mounted where we want it, sort of out of the way, so we can still see everything. So, so I then I put the, underneath the panel, ran the wires over here, so they just disappear. Put the panel up, connected all the wires. The last thing is the green wire comes through the firewall and connects to the positive side of the coil. And that's it. And that's how you install it. Okay, here's the tack all installed. Look at that. Works perfect.